as you can tell by how decked out in green I am. Today we are doing a St. Patrick's Day craft. St. Patrick's Day is coming up really soon and I wanted to show you two ways to make a shamrock and incorporate it into your outfit. It's always fun to get into the spirit of these types of holidays and the two ways I'm going to show you are both easy enough that you could make a ton of them for all your friends or for your kids classmates or just for yourself. So for the first one you'll need green ribbon, hot glue, and scissors and that is it. Cut a piece of ribbon that's about three and a half inches long. Now for the example I'm going to be using two different colors of ribbon so you can see where each piece is going but when you make it you'll probably want to use the same color of ribbon for both pieces. So to begin flip over the first piece and hot glue the second piece onto it so that there's about a square left over at the bottom of the ribbon. You'll have a corner shape at this point. Now take the first piece and fold it under the second piece and glue that into place as well. And now take the end of the second piece and thread it through the loop and then glue it in place. It's a little hard to explain but if you look at what we've just made you should be able to see how the two pieces of ribbon fit together. Side note you've also just made a ribbon heart which you could make out of any color and use for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or wedding decorations whatever you can think of. But back to the shamrock make three of these hearts out of green green ribbon and once you get the hang of it, it goes really fast. Just make sure not to use too much glue and to wipe away any extra glue as soon as you see it because if too much extra glue dries, it'll just start looking kind of messy. So once you have your three hearts finished, cut a piece of ribbon that's double the length you want the stem to be. Put a line of glue down half of the ribbon and fold it in half and this will just make the stem more durable than being a single piece of ribbon. Now put a dot of glue on one end of the stem and press the three hearts onto it. Once they're dry, to again make it more durable, flip it over and glue a small piece of ribbon across the back to really hold everything in place. And once all of the glue is dry, your ribbon shamrock is complete. I think it looks super cute and it's so quick to make. But if you don't have ribbon, no worries, you can also make a shamrock out of felt. This is actually pretty similar to the fabric flowers DIY I posted a couple weeks ago, so if you've seen that video, you are all ready for this craft. So use a pencil to draw this shape on green felt. It looks sort of like a rounded M or if you have the humor of an eight-year-old, it kind of looks like a butt. You're going to want four of these shapes, so once you've drawn them, carefully cut them out. Then thread a needle with green embroidery thread and thread it along the bottom of the first shape by threading down and then do one stitch in the middle and then come back up. So all four shapes on the thread this exact same way and then once all of them are on there, tie the two ends of the thread in a knot so that they all bunch up together. Trim off the excess thread and now you can see your shamrock. For one more touch, use hot glue to attach a button or a rhinestone to the center. This literally takes less than 10 minutes to make and again, super cute. But if you want to make it look a little more finished, before you sew the pieces together, just use your thread to sew a whip stitch around the outline of each piece of felt, not including the bottom edge. And then when you sew them together the same way I just showed you, each leaf is outlined and it looks a little more professional. But that step is not necessary, it just depends on if you want to spend a little more time on it. Either way will work just fine. So I love both of these, but how are we going to wear them? Either of them would look super cute if you glued it or taped it onto a hair clip. And then you can just wear it in your hair, just like the fabric flower that we made the other week. Or for the felt ones, you could use a safety pin to attach it to your shirt or jacket. Or if you don't want to put holes in your shirt, use tape or glue to attach a small magnet to the back and then use a second magnet on the inside of your shirt to hold it in place. So I think that I am all set for St. Patrick's Day. Let me know in the comments which version you liked the best, or if you have any fun plans for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to spend the day keeping a close eye on my lucky gold coin so it doesn't get stolen by an evil leprechaun, and my hair turns orange and I get even shorter, and I have to play the leprechaun at basketball in order to win back my family's luck. Anyone? Anyone?
look it up. And on that note, please remember to press the thumbs up and subscribe if you liked the video, and I will see you all again next week. Bye, everyone.